Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and today I got a different kind of video for you guys. This is, I, be I believe this is the Home Depot Werewolf um, from a few years ago. I don't remember exactly much about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the Home Depot Werewolf a few years ago. Um, buddy of mine had it in his Halloween display. Uh, and there's a few other things I got off of them. Uh, I've gotten a good amount of inflatables off of them as well. But, so, I got this thing for free. I'll straight up say it. I got it for free. Mainly because it was it was completely damaged. Um, heck, his... What would it be? His right, it depends how you look at it. This leg, half of it was missing, and the other half was rusted and broke. Um... So what I did was there's a broom broom pole uh, soldered on or welded rather onto the bottom underneath his foot. It comes up to about the knee and then it's the normal leg, but I, I have it uh, bolted together. Um, the other leg's fine. It's just I got to fix his pant, uh, his pant leg on that side. But yeah, this this whole leg was snapped. Um, his mask, like the latex, is starting to dry rot, and the reason for that is, um, the buddy I got this off of uses all of his animatronics outside. Um, now he doesn't just use them outside, he protects them, and, uh, like, Werewolf here, for example, has, like, a, a tough, uh, plastic, and then what you do is you wrap it, the body mainly, in this plastic to keep the um you know the circuits and everything safe from the weather and yeah i mean he's been using this thing outside for years and it still fully works the only thing that went wrong with it was um the there's one motor in there that makes his body turn and then there is i think either another one or the same motor there's a connector for the head so what's supposed to happen is his body is supposed to turn one way and his head turns the other and so forth. But I don't really have the type of motor it took to um, do that, do the full rotation. So I had a spare animatronic piece from a tabletop that had the same rotation like it would turn. And I bolted it in there. So it doesn't do the full rotation, but it does do this. So it moves a little bit, but not like it should. Um, and yeah, the one thing I want to show you, it is a little busted up still. I mean, it, it won't be perfect because he's supposed to be like this, but he, he's just so broken that he's twisted. So when I put him out for my display, I'm going to have a pole behind him and hopefully have this straightened up. Um, I do plan on using this outside mainly because I know it can be used outside um, because it has been for years. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll show you the small details. He did, his one toenail did break off. I'm gonna have to glue this. Um, and the back of his foot broke and this, this is what I need to fix. This ties to there. Um, this foot's pretty good. His clothing's pretty good. I want to get some fake blood and douse the blue up a little bit, like kind of like right there, kind of have spots. But yeah, you can see it's not too, too bad, but it's starting to dry rot. Um, so yeah, yeah, the mouth fully works. The eyes light up green. All His head fully works. Here I got to get zip ties and kind of hide all this you know pull the sleeve i did it to this side um kind of i need to work on it a little bit better the only thing he's missing is a sensor i want to find another sensor to put in there because when you plug it in it just goes on repeat but what my buddy did is there's a six volt adapter in there that's plugged into the thing and it's zip tied over here and then he ran a cord up the pant leg that way you have extra cord and you didn't have to worry about anything breaking. So yeah, you have a little homemade cord here. So you can just plug it in and it'll go. So yeah, guys, a little different. Um, I'm going to have a few animatronic videos coming in the mix of inflatable videos. 
So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can fix that, maybe. I'm not, I'm not so worried about his nose, but right there is pretty, pretty good. Because I have a video of her coming up. Um, also came from him. He has a few of those, but that one he just didn't want anymore. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I will set my phone back here. And I'll plug him in. Like I said, he's just going to start. Um, <clears throat> now, he does have a sound control and everything. But, uh, yeah, here we go. See, like I, like I said, he doesn't move a whole lot. I guess it is enough to notice, though. Let me turn his sound up a little bit. There's a way to get in here, I think. I hope. Ah, yeah. Right there. to be more based this way. favorite thing about this item is its pure size. It is about seven and a half feet tall, I believe. And I don't have any werewolves, so this is something completely different for me. So, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching, and peace out.